What happens after you submit your claim? Once the Immigration and Refugee Board, IRB, accepts your application, you will be asked to provide evidence, either electronically or in person. Refugee Protection Division, or RPD, will process your forms and support documents, and if necessary, will arrange a hearing for you. Your lawyer or consultant can help you prepare for your hearing and can also attend the tribunal with you. In both cases, whether your claim was accepted or rejected, you will get a notice of decisions and detailed decisions that outlines the reasons why you were accepted as a refugee or why you were not accepted as a refugee. If you were accepted as a refugee, you can then apply for permanent residence at IRCC. However, if your case was rejected, in most cases you can appeal the case to the Refugee Appeal Division or RAD however, chances are slim that they will change the RPD decision. If your case was again rejected by RAD and you are still not satisfied, in some cases, you can apply for leave and judicial review at the federal court. Please note you are still subject to admissibility and background checks by the IRCC and CBSA. If you were found inadmissible, then CBSA officers will intervene in your case and not allow it to proceed further. You will be asked to resolve your inadmissibility matter first at the Immigration Division and then proceed with your refugee case at the Refugee Protection Division. If you don't want to hire a lawyer or consultant for your refugee case and want to know the exact step-by-step -step process for refugee protection, please search the internet for Guide 0174. Application Guide for Inland Refugee Claims Submitted Through the IRCC Portal.